Today we're opening old Yu-Gi-Oh products from your childhood. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we are opening the old Yu-Gi-Oh products from your childhood, assuming that you were around my age, maybe even a little younger. You guys remember this 2003 Gear Free the Iron Knight 10. We also have this GX Special Edition, which came out I think one to two years later. It might have been 2005, like early 2005 for this one. It has the promo elements, we'll hear a wild heart. So for this 10, this is going to be open for Connor C from Ruxin34.com. Go check that out for other old school products. They don't have to be open, you can just get them shipped sealed to you, but Connor wanted it open on the channel. Then we have a GX Special Edition. This was sent in by Northern Card Collectibles to be opened and given away for you guys. So we're opening these packs and then giving all the pulls and the Elemental Hero Wild Heart to one of you guys. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite product from back in the day when you were a kid. It doesn't have to be either of these products, just anything that you remember. And finally, we do have, I know, you're like, what? More Grand Creators? If you guys remember that live stream, Pot of Greed to 3, honestly, they can bring it back. I mean... I thought we opened the entire case. It turns out I still had 16 more packs. We did not pull a fourth collector rare, so it's almost guaranteed to get one in here. So we're going to kind of mix these together, but we're going to start off by cracking open this GX Special Edition. It's very oblong and hard to show on camera. Inside, we do get the... It's actually a misprint Wild Heart where it doesn't have the secret rare foiling, but it has the secret rare name. But every single one is like this, so it's not really that special, but it's still very cool and unique. So there's an Elemental Hero or an Elemental Energy. We have a Lost Millennium and a Cybernetic Revolution. Let's see what we can pull out of here. First, we're going to open up a Grand Creators and see if we can pull that missing Collector Rare. This was from one box that I pulled a couple of packs out, and then I real literally I pull this like every time, and then I realized that uh, I had hid them away and I didn't open the entire box. So uh, when I realized that, like just a second ago, I was like, we need to open these packs because we thought that we got gypped out of a collector rare, but it turns out we didn't actually get gypped. We just uh, forgot to open some of the packs. And the rest of that case was crazy too. If you guys missed that live stream, go check it out. We pulled absolutely insane in terms of the cards we want. Psychic Tracker, Exa Beetle. Oh, a punk. That's back-to-back -back ultra rares. Wow, back-to-back -back ultra rares right off the bat. So, uh... Maybe that's all the good pulls. Okay, let's go into an elemental energy. Anything pulled in this pack is going to be in the giveaway. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, and all that stuff. And then, of course, you get the wild heart no matter what we pull, even if we pull a bunch of commons. So let's hopefully we can pull like the cover card. That would be crazy. I've never pulled that card ever. So that would be pretty awesome to pull it for you guys. Let's go with the branch himself. Beige Vanguard of Dark World. Chthonium Palmer. Level modulation. We've got familiar possessed area. VW Tiger Catapult. Weed out. Hero Barrier and a Nano Breaker. So just a Hero Barrier that time. All right. Let's see if we can get an Ultimate Rare. That'd be pretty crazy. Grand Creators. Come on, guys. Let's get something crazy out of this Grand Creators. We could pull Torrential. We could pull E-Telly. We could pull Solemn Strike. We could pull, of course, the Adventurer, a.k.a. Brave Engine. That would be pretty big. And the Punk. Okay, I got Punk. All right. Okay. Insector Hornet. Wielder. So this is probably going to be like the last Grand Creators opening we have. Not ever. I mean, I'm sure at some point I'll open this again, but, like, I don't have any more packs. So, like, there's no reason for me to open it unless we, like, find it at Walmart or something like that. But at this point, this is, like, pretty much the end of Grand Creators for us on the channel. Castell, Exosister Ellis. I mean, we've pulled way too many Exosisters at this point. We just need to retire the set. I still want that last Collector Rare. So we pulled the Water Enchanters Collector Rare on the live. Can we pull the right Collector Rare in the same case? That would be pretty massive. Zaralom, Donnell, and Zector Ladybug. That was a dinged card. Okay, we got the Gabreen and Hidden Armory. Okay, another one. Come on. Give us something good before we go into this Lost Millennium pack. So we've already pulled two Ultras. I don't remember if we pulled an Ultra out of the other ones. Otherwise, if we did, then there's no Ultras left. Go get pull. We got the XC's Universe, Rise Bell, and Insector Hornet. All right, let's move over to the Lost Millennium. Let's see if we can pull... The man himself, Ancient Gear Golem, we could pull Flame Wingman, we could pull Reshef, the Dark Being, we could pull Elemental Hero Thunder Giant. These are all really cool cards, and of course, Brain Control. Alright, so we have a Dummy Golem, Double A Attack, the Monk Fighter, Pikaru's Second Sight, Ancient Gear Soldier, Elemental Hero Spark Man, Battery Charger, and... Royal Surrender with a white ninja at the end. All right, nothing again in that one. Okay, Grand Creator. So far, we're a little underwhelming. We got to pull a couple of bad Ultra Rares. Uh, we pulled nothing from the GX Special Edition. We still have the Jinzo, not the Jinzo 10, the Gear Free 10. A little bit different. Both Joey 10s, though, from that year. Cas Patel, Zek Caliber, Punk Rising, and Zector Dragonfly. Cool card, but we have many, many of those at this point. Still, I think this was like 20 packs, so I think I only opened like four maybe of this set, so maybe we didn't get the other Ultra. That would be nice, because there's a lot of good Ultras, or a couple of good Ultras we want. 
Strike. We've got the Danelle. We've got the Insector Sword. The Gaga Punk Wagon. All right. Wagon. We're gone. And we are, yeah, officially struggling. We are officially struggling in this video. All it takes is one big pull, though. We got a Hoppa. We got a Punk. We got a Dunnell. We got a Punk. Magic or Warrior. Dragon back, or Draco back. And the Irene, just another rare. No. Let's open the Cybernetic Revolution pack. Then we're going to crack into that Gear Free 10. And we can open the rest of those Grand Creators packs. Can we pull something cool? Let's go. For the giveaway, we got a Doitsu. That's awesome. Can we pull a Cyber and Dragon Ultra? Cyber Dragon Super Rare, something like that. We've got a Tadpole. That's awesome. Pots of Generosity. Be generous. Give us a Cyber Dragon. Shin Spy. Doitsu. Fusion Recovery. The Spiritual Windart Miyabi. Poison Draw Frog. And Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Just a rare, but it is the Bubble Man himself. The Bubble Master. The Man of the Bubbles. Yeah, I know you guys want that. All right, that was that was a cool pull. While, while it was not a great pull, it was still very cool. That would be a very awesome ultimate rare to pull. Like, that's one of the best ones in CRV as a rare. So let's see. We've got uh, Exabeetle. We've got a Zaralon. We're about to open this tin after a couple of these packs. Ties of the Brethren. Punk. Another Punk, Spider, and the Irene. Still so many packs of this left. Like, more than I thought we had. I, I was thinking it was like 14 packs, but it's really like 20. So it's a lot more. We have another Wild Picking. I'm just going to skip that. Castell, Virtual World. Uh, Asafiel. All right, one more pack. Then we're opening this tin. We're going to get into Connor C's Epic Pulls. Hopefully something really good. Because so far, we have not had a great pull yet in this video. We're kind of hoping that we will. Or hoping. Not hoping. Hoping. Exosister Armament. we got a Goki Pull. we got the uh, Carb Divim. Hidden Armory. Oh. Oh, Insect Imitation. <sighs> Double of the same ultra rare. Awesome. Okay, does that mean we're gonna get four ultras and no collect rare? I have that's what happened in the first box of this one. So I wouldn't be surprised if it had to get that was supposed to be the last pack, but then I kind of got distracted. Castell, Nan Nan, Breath of Resurrection, Force of Lost Flowers, and Torrential Tribute. Did this thing just give me false hope? Do we actually still only have three collect rares? That's gonna be a bummer. Hopefully not. Okay. This Gia Free tin. Let's see what we can pull out of here. We have Gear Free the Iron Knight. All right, so inside we have five packs. We also have a promo, which is at the very bottom with no protection, which is always scary with these 2003 10s. Let's see how it looks on the front. Front looks pretty nice. Centering is actually a little off, but it's not too bad. Now the back, moment of truth. Wow, this is clean for a 2003. It does have a little bit of the scuffing, but compared to some of the ones I pulled when I opened like every 2003 10, if you guys remember that, Wow, those were in terrible shape. So this is actually pretty good for Connor. I don't think it's PSA 10 worthy, but it's definitely like pretty near mint overall. Okay, and now we have these five packs. Legend of Blue Eyes, we got Metal Raiders, we got Magic Ruler, which is, yeah, it's still Magic Ruler, but it says SRL, I think. It's like the weird mixture. Then we have Pharaoh Servant and Labyrinth of Nightmare. All of them are Red Banner because they just changed that over from the original Konami logo at this point. Okay, let's go into One Grand Creators, and then we will go into, I think, Labyrinth of Nightmare first is probably our choice. We will see. We have Insector Centipede, Starlight Papleon, We've got the Zect Caliber, we got the Emergency Teleport, Exo Sister Stella. Okay, just the Stella. Now let's go into a Labyrinth of Nightmare. Can we pull something crazy like a Magic Cylinder Secret Rare? Can we pull, um, what do we want? Like a Dark Necrofear would be pretty cool as an Ultra Rare. There's a lot of really cool cards. Let's do three just to be safe. We're going to go with Lightning Blade, the Garuda. The Emperor's Holiday, Bio Mage, Aqua Spirit, Spirit Elimination, Skull Lair. Oh, and a last warrior from another planet. Whoa, this is one of my favorite cards. This would have, if I kept thinking about other cards I wanted, this would have been like number two or three. The back does have some pretty significant scuffing, to be honest, but this is still. An epic ultra rare out of Labyrinth of Nightmare. This is a really cool card. I've always really liked the artwork. I mean, just check him out. It looks amazing. Like, if you had this card as a kid, you're like, this card looks awesome. 
Problem is I can never summon it. All right, so Connor definitely broke the streak of bad pulls. He pulled us something epic, so that is good to see. Let's see if that'll uh, bless me with a collector rare out of my packs. So it's funny because, like, you guys have packs with the giveaway. Uh, Connor has packs as a viewer, and I have packs as my grand creator's pack. So it's pretty funny. We're all opening up packs today. It's pretty fun. Let's see if we can get a collector rare. We pulled three ultras out of these. So far, no collector rare. Next, we're going to open up Pharaoh Servant. We got a Magic Core Warrior. Okay, and not too much there. Now, let's go to Pharaoh Servant. We started off with an Ultra Rare. What more can we ask for? I say a Secret Rare. <laughs> secret Rare. I take another Ultra Super Rare. I'm sure we'd take anything at this point. All right. Here we go. It was three last time. We have the Bombardment Beetle. Type 0 Magic Crusher. Twin-Headed Fire Dragon. Invitation to a Dark Sleep. Goruchin Kuwagata. Souls of the Forgotten. Gust. Insect Barrier. And. Morphing Jar number two. An iconic classic. Morphing Jar number two. Pretty cool one. Not a foil. Back to Grand Creators. We have a few total packs left for this opening. If you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Because it will be coming up. You guys know. You guys know what's going to happen. So just subscribe. We got a punk. We got Exo Sister, Exo Sister Ellis, which we have pulled a million times. I just pulled so many Exo Sister cards. So now we have three of each pack left. So let's do this. So we end on LOB. Yeah, let's do this. One more of these. We want to end on Legend of Blue Eyes. We have Insecta Hoppa, Armit, Gogi Pole, Carpe Divium, and Hidden Ars. Wait. This is going to be another Ultra, isn't it? Oh, it's another Ultra, but it's a good one. Ride of Eremesir. There we go. This is the most expensive Ultra in the set. So it looks like we are going to get a three collector rare case, but we pulled a $60 card out of this. So this was totally worth opening. All right. That, I thank you, Connor. You definitely did that. All right. We have Magic Ruler. This is the weird Magic Ruler where it's also Spell Ruler in the same pack, which is very odd. So uh, let's see. Let's do this. Let's see if we can pull something epic. So as you guys can see, no, it is MRL. Wait. Oh, it says spell. That's what it says. Spell on the uh, spell cards. Yeah, there it is. Spell card MRL, which is very weird combo. And it says magical on the pack. So we got a dark zebra, the red archery girl. Koto Dama. October, sir. October, sir. Whatever you want to call him. The hungry burger. The man is hungry. Speaking of that, I am starving right now. And uh, commencement dance. <laughs> so that just reminded me. And a Sinju of the 10,000 hands. Another rare, but a very iconic one to me, at least. Okay, two more packs. If we do get, like, a four ultra, one collector rare box, that would be pretty insane. I mean, that would be pretty awesome. We got a Centipede. We got a Starlet Papillon. Uh, Emergency Teleport. We've got the Breath of Resurrection. Thunder Discharge. Zector Hornet. Wait. Oh, Breath of Resurrection. I just missed it completely. <laughs> On to my favorite set, Metal Raiders. Look, it's a fat pack. It's a little chunky. Got a little bit of a chunky pack in here. We're not fat shaming the packs. I know, guys. I know. But <laughs> All right. Here we go. What can we pull? Can we pull the legendary? Pecanio Moth. Here we go. Pump King, the King of Ghosts. Guilty of the D-Knight. Electric Lizard. Lego. The Germ Infection. Man, guys. That reminds me of 2020. I don't know about you guys. We got the Ancient Lizard. Lizard Boy. We got the Seven Colored Fish. All right. Seven colors, including the lips. Killer Needle, and Hoshingen, the Star Man, the Man of the Stars. Final pack for me, and then we go into the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. The best set of all time, besides the Metal Raiders. Okay, Wild Picking. We got to start with Papillon. Ties of the Brethren. Oh, we rocked the special right to the Breath of Resurrection again. All right, still an awesome box for me. I'm happy with it. Now let's get into Connor's last pack. He started off extremely hot. He got a nice near mint promo. He got himself an ultra rare last warrior from another planet. Three straight rares, though. So can he redeem himself with the Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack where he pulls the Blue Eyes White Dragon? I mean, I'm down for that. I'm totally down. We've got a Yurabi. We've got a Two Mouth Dark Ruler. Hino Tama. Armored Starfish. Mizurizame. Yami, 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 yami. Oh, there it is. Yami, yami. Let's go. A yami, yami, Mizurizame. Yami. Okay, let's let's stop with that. Witty Phantom. That was just too much. Uh, Kagamusha of the Blue Flame. And finally. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, excuse me, sir. 
Can we get the uh, Blue Eyes White Dragon out of this jar? We're going to need you to remove this jar. Open it up. We're going to need our Blue Eyes White Dragon because it seems that this trap card took our pull. Yeah, we got scammed. Dragon Capture Jar, there's a Blue Eyes in this pack, but I think it stole it. I think that's what happened. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Daxter, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Anunatai Show, and JT Cho. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.